everyone, my name is Anna. In this channel, I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. Merry Christmas, everyone. So it is December and wow, the past three weeks, it has been so cold here. Now we have a little bit of a warming up. And these are my cacti here inside my greenhouse. A lot of them are shriveled. Look at my tephro cactus right there. They are leaning. I hope the segments do not fall. But anyway, so these are the ones, uh, the lucky cacti that I picked that will stay here inside my greenhouse during this winter time. And um, they're all comfortable in here, protected. Um, I have a heater here. This greenhouse is bubble wrapped. So they are cozy and warm. There's my heater down there. But what I want to discuss with you today is um, how I protect my cacti, especially my outdoor cacti over there, from the extreme cold temperature. I have two racks in here that are filled with potted plants and then here to my left beside the greenhouse I have a few more pots of cactus here also tucked uh, beside the greenhouse so in my racks in here I have mostly cacti and aloes and what I used here this is a frost protection blanket I just bought this online and i wrap them around the racks they are just secured with uh, clips um nothing permanent something that's very easy to take off so i just used clips um to fasten the blanket on the rack and then here at the bottom i have another clip just to prevent the blanket from uh, being blown by the wind so let me show you real quick what's underneath here so here is uh this rack is uh, all cacti on this one and to the right this one has aloes inside it this year i'm only using this frost protection blanket um, on my plants in the previous years i used burlap as well to protect my plants that is the brown fabric and what i don't like about burlap is that when i handle it there are like small fibers that would always float in the air and it was making me sneeze <laughs> so at least this one the frost protection blanket it is lightweight and it's cleaner it doesn't have those little fibers floating in the air and also when i fold it it's less bulky than the burlap. So this year, I am just using this frost protection blanket all over my backyard. I only put up this blanket whenever our temperature falls below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This year, besides cacti, I, I am also overwintering aloes and haworthias for the very first time outside in my backyard this year. So aloes and haworthias are more sensitive to freezing temperatures. Oh, in fact, here are two aloes that I wasn't able to fit in the rack, so I just tucked them there in the corner to protect them from the wind. So like I said, I only cover my racks whenever our temperatures would fall below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This cloth helps increase the temperature for about 45 degrees Fahrenheit inside of the rack. Here in Vegas, the coldest it got last week was 27 degrees Fahrenheit and that 4 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit higher in temperature really helped a lot in protecting my plants. I will show you the cacti that I have in here. So I have three pots. I have Cenocereus pruinosus back there and two old men of the Andes in here. So they are protected by this blanket and the side of the greenhouse. And then in front I have this bucket that's supposed to catch rainwater but it hasn't been raining so it's empty. Another advantage that this blanket has over the burlap is that it allows sunlight to penetrate through it. This is very convenient especially when we have very cold mornings despite the sun. It is very cold so I can leave the blanket on all day and all night and I don't have to be removing them and then putting them back again. 
This particular product that I bought has a parameter of 70% light transmission if you just use a single layer of blanket. Of course, you can use a double layer to keep your plants warmer, but that is at the expense of the sunlight that goes through the blanket. I ran out of that blanket, so for this particular cactus, I threw a floor rug over it. This is my golden barrel, as you can see. So this will keep it warm, but in case it rains, of course, it is not protected from getting wet. That is another advantage of the blanket. The blanket is water resistant. These are Trichocereus hybrids and I'm testing their cold tolerance by leaving them out here unprotected. But at 27 degrees Fahrenheit, this is showing cold damage. Those brown spots on top, those are signs of cold damage. If left unattended, these brown spots will become bigger and it will totally kill the growing point or the tip of the cactus. This other cactus doesn't have those brown spots so this is doing okay for now as well as the babies down here i don't see brown spots but yes um i should start wrapping this cactus because i can see that it is getting too cold for it already here is another plant that is showing cold stress and cold damage this is a portulacaria afra see those brown spots there they develop when it gets very cold so this is telling me that it is getting too cold for it it may not kill this plant but those marks will be permanent moving on to my desert gardens this is the only section that I covered up because this is newly planted I just planted it this summer so I am giving it extra protection I have here, here's how it looks uncovered. I have here um, Echinopsis and Trichocereus. And then here, if you can see, I have um, my Mexican fence post in the middle that are covered with terracotta pots on the tips. So I am trying to protect the tips from freeze. You can also use styrofoam cups to cover the tips. The newest growth on a cactus or the tips are the ones that are most sensitive to cold temperatures. If you cannot protect your whole cactus, if you cannot wrap the whole cactus, at least protect the growing point at the top. While I am here in my backyard, I might as well give you a quick tour around. In this section, this is the only one that I protected uh, that is the totem pole cactus so that one is a little bit sensitive to cold temperatures. It will not kill it but then again this, the brown scarring will appear on the cactus. But everything else here is uh, pretty much hardy. I have some choyas in here of puntias especially. They are purple, they are shriveled but they can easily survive temperatures in the 20s 20 degrees fahrenheit i have some agaves in here another opuntia purple opuntia back there this is an opuntia santarita it is very much shriveled <laughs> i might water this section of the garden in the next few days since uh, we have a little bit of a warming up because I can see a lot of the plants here are shriveled. This is Echinopsis candy cans, the big fat one. <laughs> and then underneath this shade cloth, um, I have a claret cup cactus in here. I had to protect it underneath a shade cloth because look at the front, it is purple. And uh, that is due to the sun exposure. Mm, if I look at the back, oh, let me show you the back here. See, the back is green, but the purple 
color is in front so that means the purple coloration is due to the extreme sun now this has been here in the ground for years but just recently this summer i dug this up and lifted it because it was sinking and i added more soil so i disturbed the roots maybe that's why this is struggling right now so i'm giving it a little bit of help by putting a shade cloth on top of it here is another section again of my backyard. Underneath this blanket, I have an Echinopsis spakiana or more commonly known as the Golden Torch Cactus. When I bought this at Cactus Joe just this year, they advised me to protect this during winter. Again, just the tips. Just protect the tips. That is the most important thing. And then against this wall, all these cacti are unprotected. But they benefit from the heat radiating from the wall and also the wall blocks the very cold wind so again that's another tip i can give you guys if you cannot uh, protect your cacti if you can move them if they are in pots move them against the wall because especially if you have a sunny days the wall or the wall of your house will somehow um, absorb that heat and give it out especially during the night when it gets very cold that heat that radiates from the wall will help your cacti here is the front view of that garden so here these are all again unprotected um, i have a puntia ficus indica here the only one that i have to watch out for is this ferrocactus lattice penis here in the middle if we do get a forecast of snow i will definitely cover that one up but yep, and right there is the Echinopsis spakiana. To sum it all up, I protect my cacti by wrapping them with a blanket, a burlap, or any piece of cloth. I protect the tips using terracotta pots or styrofoam cups. For potted plants, I move them closer to the wall. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants, and I'll talk to you again next time. Happy holidays everyone, and cheers!